I want to bring in uh, two people who say they've actually seen UAP, uh, essentially UFOs, firsthand. Uh, we've all seen it in the video, too. The, the Pentagon shared it publicly. Uh, Sean Cahill is a former Navy chief who saw the so-called Tic Tac uh, in 2004. And Alex Dietrich is a retired Navy lieutenant commander uh, who also saw the Tic Tac. That video is unbelievable. It's, it's really a, an honor to have both of you with us tonight. First of all, I, I want to ask you, Alex, first, what did you make um, of David Grush's story. I know you've seen the interview. Um, do, do you find it believable? There's a lot to unpack there. Uh, I'm not familiar with the sources that he's referring to. I, I'm certainly not familiar with the uh, hard evidence, the data, or any physical evidence that he uh, referred to there. Uh, but what I do know is that I saw something strange in uh, 2004, November 14, 2004. It's been referred to as the Nimitz encounter or the Tic Tac incident. And when we reported it at the time uh, and in years since, uh, even today, it's my understanding that air crew operators, folks who uh, see something, don't have a good protocol. They don't have a good process to report it. Uh, so you ride the subway and you see a, a billboard that says, if you see something, say something. There's an easy way to report a suspicious package. Uh, but if you're seeing something in the sky that doesn't make sense, uh, looks out of place, especially around a military exercise or uh, near a civilian city, uh, city center, uh, especially with the events of 9-11 still so fresh in our, our hearts and our minds, we need to have a protocol in place. We need to have folks who are dedicated uh, and a system to... Uh, report these and, and analyze these unidentified uh, phenomenon. Yeah, and that seems to be the bigger issue here, regardless of whether you're a skeptic or a believer. The problem here seems to be that we don't have a system, a good, real, uh, honest system where people can come forward who are in the military and actually report things and not to be made uh, to look crazy in that kind of thing. Um, Sean, I, I have to ask you, when you first saw the Tic Tac, uh, along with a, a number of other people uh, in the area and, and who, who were on the ship, I mean, did, did people take you seriously? Did you feel like um, you were being like made fun of or did you feel like the military was open to hearing what you guys actually saw? During the week of that exercise, we took it very seriously. Uh, there, there was no real ridicule on board until after the fact when we were all trying to figure out what had happened. That was when we were making uh, making jokes and making light of the situation. But during the situation, we took it very seriously because there was an unknown aircraft in our in the vicinity of our battle group. I have to say that uh, there's there I cannot say with assurance that I what I saw was the same thing that that Commander Fravor or Commander Dietrich saw. Um, I saw five to seven lights in the sky move in a pattern that I'd never seen before throughout the, at that point, decade of my career, now 20 years worth, that seems commensurate with UAP. But um, I, I can say that this this is something I've followed for the last five years since the, uh, the 2017 article came out, and I've worked diligently at it, usually 24-7, 24, uh, as we say. Um, this is this is a very present phenomenon now. It is not just that strange thing that I saw in the sky one time. I think the difference here, though, Ross, is when Sean and Alex talk about what they saw, we've got the video to back it up. Um, and you've, we've now got accounts from a number of people in the military who saw the very, the very same thing. So it's easy to accept that. It's hard to go from seeing this video and saying, OK, this is not explainable and clearly is something strange going on to we have these crafts in our possession, we have bodies. There is a secret Cold War. Um, I, I just think it's hard to make that leap for, for Americans when there's no hard evidence, when we can't see video or pictures. I completely agree with you. And I think that's why Mr. Grush is saying that people need to get Congress to, to hold the hearings where this evidence can be brought to light. Um, he's not expecting people to believe him straight off, frankly. He's hoping that people will be skeptical. But what he's hoping, and what I think a lot of people are hoping, is that Congress will suddenly find the courage to start demanding answers. Because I know evidence has been presented to Senate committees particularly, and I know that the, um, uh, there's been meetings in the Congress attended by senators where information has been discussed relating to the crash retrieval program. 
And I, I also, by the way, have information that suggests the National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, attended at least one of these meetings. So I, I think the president probably, or at least his most senior advisor, does know. And we're in a situation now where it's incumbent on the Congress and the president to be open about the fact that it doesn't appear to um, uh, be forthcoming with that evidence. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.